welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we shall work together with our great leader Mazen Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality is a Buhari and his Fulani Nigerian government are running their useless mouth like tap attacking Russia's invasion of Ukraine. They have now incurred the rout of Putin and Nigeria may be invaded next for the careless talk by the Fulani Janjaweed. Even Turkey, who happens to be Buhari's mentor and the Fulani terrorist mentor, had to quickly deny that they blocked the Black Sea to Russian warship. But Nigeria, that cannot even defeat a ragtag Boko Haram terrorist, Nigeria, the has port belly generals is busy running their dirty mouth, thinking that the European Union will borrow them money after China have refused. Because they saw that the American government and the EU are announcing money that they will give to Ukraine. So they started supporting Ukraine. Nigerian government started supporting Ukraine, hoping that with that, they can deceive the European Union to borrow their money. But they failed. The Volani terrorist bandits and Boko Haram blasted Buhari's government that they have not been able to defeat Eastern Security Network and now they want to add Russian military that will erase Nigeria in seconds. The Fulani terrorists have concluded plans to run out of Nigeria to their various countries before Russian military invades. They are running. That Buhari cannot come and put them in trouble. That is on his own. That they are they have not been able to penetrate Biafran land and is busy running his mouth against the world number two military. He's on his own. The full and Nigerian government who are guilty of military invasion of Biafran land. They have invaded Biafra with Operation Python Dance and Operation Golden Dawn that led to the massacre of Biafrans. And they are still, they are still killing Biafrans. The full of the Nigerian government have no moral justification to question or attack what they are guilty of. Because they are guilty of it. They are a bunch of lawless leaders. Fulani leaders, very lawless. They disobey rule of law at will. Anything that does not favor them, they disobey it. And they are here pretending to be saints. Biafra, only seen according to the Fulani Janjaweed, is asking for Biafra referendum. Which is not a crime against the full and Nigerian government's 1999 constitution and any international law. Yet, the full and Nigerian government invaded Biafra and their security agencies are still occupying Biafran land, killing and kidnapping innocent unarmed Biafrans who have committed no offense. They even went as far 
into another country in Kenya who collaborated with them to kidnap our leader. So they have no moral justification to condemn what they are guilty of. They have no. There is practically no difference between what Russia is doing in Ukraine to what the Fulani Nigerian government is doing in Biafra land. They are the same. There's no difference. And one useless animal called Asari Dokubo was saying and running his uh, Kwashoko bound that he will kill our leader, Mazin Amdekano, if Biafras attack him. Imagine that. Instead of him to support Biafran restoration, where they will be free because of a small change that they have, uh, the full and Nigerian government is giving him and they promised him pipeline security job and he's busy ranting, talking anyhow. You know, that is what... Uh, this Efulefus and Unity Beggars are doing. Some of them, they pretend to be fighting for Biafra restoration, but they are not. They are sheep in wolf clothing. They are enemies within, trying to destroy Biafra's struggle, trying to destroy our leader, Mazen Amdekano, and trying to help the Fulani Janjaweed to come into Biafra and take over Biafra. That's what they are doing. That is why every Biafra must support Mazen and the Kano. They must support Eastern Security Network and ensure that Biafra is restored. And stop all this full and in ginger weed, all the atrocities and mayhem they are committing in Biafra land. It has to stop. It has to stop. Buhari asked the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, to embrace dialogue, but Buhari's government have refused to embrace dialogue with Mazin Amdekano and Biafrans. Despite calls by international communities and some Nigerian leaders to embrace dialogue, but he won't. Instead, he was dialoguing with Boko Haram terrorists, murderous people, people who have shed so many blood. He's calling them repentant. Even his vice president went to assure the Boko Haram terrorists that they will be taken care of. After Buhari leaves office, they will be taken care of. That shows how lawless the zoo called Nigeria is. Powerful nations like Sweden and Finland were threatened by Vladimir Putin with military and political consequences. If they seek to support NATO or request to be a member of NATO, yet Nigerian coward military that Buhari is relying on, he thought they would save him. He's now running his mouth like foolish person. Running his mouth foolishly. Thinking that his coward military will help him. But Buhari thinks that raising his voice in bashing the Russians will make the United States of America and European Union to also give Nigeria some of the money given to Ukraine as security assistance so that the full and the Nigerian government can loot it. They lie, they are just dreaming. Everyone now knows them. They have been exposed. 
Investigation shows that there is a link between Boko Haram, Fulani terrorist bandits, and Fulani military police officers. It was even revealed by the Fulani governor of Kaduna State, a terrorist himself, Nasri Erufai. He said so. According to report, Kaduna State Governor Nasru S. Rufai has disclosed that investigations reveal that some serving police and military officers have links with Fulani terrorist bandits terrorizing the state and Nigeria as a whole. He said so during the weekly briefing organized by the Presidential Communication Media Team at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.